main bearing recently. Note, do not apply Laboil to the rear surface of the main bearing metal and inner surface of main bearing cap. Check the positions of the upper bearing metal claw and notch in the engine frame. Push in the upper bearing by hand from the side until it stops. Insert the main bearing pin into the lubricating hole in the crankshaft. Turn the crankshaft clockwise and push the upper bearing until its end face aligns with the engine frame mating surface at main bearing cap. Ensure again that the upper bearing metal is set in position. Turn the crankshaft counterclockwise and remove the main bearing pin. Apply a sufficient amount of lubricating oil to the lower bearing metal inner surface only. Check the positions of the lower bearing metal, main bearing cap, end face and claw and fit the lower bearing to the main bearing cap. Raise the main bearing cap by turning the nut. Screw the tightening nut on each main bearing cap bolt until the nut gets in contact with the surface. Remove the main bearing cap tools. Screw the side bolts. After screwing them until their tips get in contact with the whole bottoms, move back one quarter to one half turn. Screw the side bolt nuts. Attach the main bearing jack stand and the hydraulic jack. Assembly to each nut. Tighten the two nuts simultaneously. Tighten the main bearing cap tightening nuts using the hydraulic jack assembly to specified oil pressure.
Remove the hydraulic jack assembly and main bearing jack stand. Tighten the side bolts. Attach the side bolt jack stand and the hydraulic jack assembly to each bolt. Tighten the two side bolts simultaneously. Tighten to specified oil pressure. Remove the, the hydraulic jack assembly and side bolt jack stand. Attach the side bolt protecting rubber cap. Measure the deflection after complete assembling of main bearing. 